what's going on guys welcome back to the channel after two excruciating weeks of waiting we are finally here with season four episode five of attack on titan yes sir that's what we here for last episode ended out with aaron getting mr reiner himself which has been going through very traumatic <laughs> he is going through it man i'm not even gonna lie they are really trying their best to help us understand reiner's character which is definitely he has become um um a character in the show a major character more of like a anti-hero um trying to help us to understand what he's been through you know what i'm saying since he was a kid being sent out as a kid to go fight a war basically and for him to come back alive you know the ptsd is killing this dude and now he is face to face with the one and only Aaron, a, a, a guy that he has taught so much to, a guy that he used to call friend, and used to call him friend, until he realized he was a traitor, <laughs> right? What is Aaron about to talk to him now that Aaron is a bit older, more mature? What is he about to do? You know what I'm saying? Met his grandfather in that episode also. Um, you know, some people are saying that he knew. You know, I figured he would know that as his grandfather. It's just his calm and cool. I mean, no reaction at all out of, out of Aaron. Aaron, his mind is in one place right now. The only place that matters. And that is to, in my mind... He wants to destroy these people. And they're doing this from the inside out. Because he's like... I think, in my mind, I think Aaron... Is, is, is you know, thinking that he just... They have to do this. If it's war you want, war you gonna get. You know what I'm saying? You guys killed my mama. So, I don't think he's here to necessarily save Eldians. It's more of like show them that you know y'all want a war we gonna give you war right so i'm intrigued to see how this is going to go um you know during this they're they're literally right under some stage they're setting up or whatever because everybody's gonna be gathered and all of this other stuff so we're gonna see how how that plays out I don't know man it seems like some i mean judging from whatever has been happening in these four episodes it seems like something is going to pop off and it's not going to be good you know what i'm saying it, it's you know what i mean like for what other reason would he reveal himself to ryan at this point if he's not planning to go ape shit <laughs> like for what other re you know what i'm saying like if you're not playing why reveal yourself why reveal yourself when you know that they are after you in the first place come on now come on man that's storytelling 101 um so i expect big things from this episode i mean they needed a week an extra week to do some stuff usually when anime do this you know they're coming back with the fire you know what i'm saying so i expect nothing less than greatness for this episode let's go watch the episode and i will see you guys for the review all right so we just finished watching season four episode five of attack on titan and i'm super excited to do this review man because whoa whoa and whoa was that speech an eye opener <laughs> right we learned so much in that speech man about you know what really went down versus what people the story that was told 
even to us you know coming up we've you know we we've heard about the history of the Eldian war and what happened you know what i'm saying There's certain few details in there you know of the story and then he man just ways like we inherited the war i'm a titan and we got into the memories and we found out what really happened which is king fritz whatever his name is <laughs> it's fritz <laughs> right so mans that we've come to know you know what i'm saying we got a few flashback scenes with him and kenny and that really brought back those memories to me and you know the conversations that they were having and how you know what i'm saying i was like okay it explains a lot because um you know especially about the titans in the walls tens of thousands or was it millions he said tens of millions i think he said tens of millions like it's crazy bro how this show just keeps surprising you and surprising you about you thought this was going on nah homie nah <laughs> nah homie you know what i'm saying so it's like kind of that show man and that's what makes the story of attack on titan so intriguing and why it breaks records you know what i'm saying because you know you're confused for literally three straight seasons of the show you have no idea what's going on like even throughout that until some things some some things were revealed at the end of season three like some things not even everything and now they hit us with another bombshell in season in, in season four here in episode five and the conversation between Aaron and reiner you know reiner being you know very remorseful you know what i'm saying but the thing about it is this it's very hard for me to feel for reiner i'm gonna tell you guys why it's very hard i understand what he's going through but it's kind of like reiner is like a soldier being sent into war you know what i'm saying you indulge in the war you indulge in the war you infiltrate you become friends with people and then you still decide to carry out this mission you know what i'm saying and you could say they were brainwashed from birth there were plenty of times there were plenty of times where any one of them could have said you know what this is wrong you know what i'm saying and be like listen guys hey you know what i'm saying we 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 are eldians you guys are eldians i don't even think they know what race of people they are at that point they Aaron didn't know about no damn eldians they didn't know what race they were his father knew he never told him right so he never knew so at so many different points even if you're not going to put it on reiner you had annie and you had Berthold. both of them could have said to him even though annie has this such a strong personality you would think that at some point even though she wasn't the most social person even Berthold could have said hey man you know what i'm saying we eldians you guys are Heldians. you know we're we you know we come from a far off land or whatever the situation is they had plenty of time to come clean of course they would have got hate of course they probably would have gotten imprisoned but at least you know what i'm saying the bloodshed would have stopped so many people lost their lives Annie herself as the female titan kills so many she killed literally the entire almost the entire scouting team during that one mission when she when she came out and was just killing all levi's friends you know what i'm saying like at some point that's why i just can't feel sorry for reiner like i have some sort of i feel a little bit sorry for him because i know he's going through you know the ptsd is killing him that's why he just he just wants to die because he can't believe he did that to people his own people he was fed this crazy crap that keeps him so confused and in two minds make it seem like he has double personality when it's really not the case it's just ptsd 
it's just that stress of he just can't keep up the charade and he he's trying so hard to keep up the charade you know what i'm saying and all you know I, you know you could go as far to say you know what i'm saying he cares about the people that is upstairs but the thing about aaron is this right he's looking at it from this perspective is like you had no other choice right so what makes you think that I'm going to come here now and I'm going to act like I have a choice. I told you from the get go, I'm going to kill all of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm saying that I'm on Aaron's side, but at least he has a reason for what he, for, for being the way he is. He has a reason at any point he could stop. But at this point when the whole world has just declared war to come get you, what choice do you have if if somebody gathered the whole world coming after you and yours and your people to come kill more of your people and exterminate more of your people you got he, he's thinking about mikasa he's thinking about armin he's thinking about all these people that he cares about jean um what's his name connie you, you know what i'm saying he's thinking about all these people captain levi um hanji you know what i'm saying he's thinking about all these people never mind the people that are le left back at home pixies and all those people that has impacted him over this time he's like bro if you want it come get it you don't even have to come over to my place i'm already here my g you know what i'm saying so i respect that more than you know me feeling sorry for reiner i really do and i know there's a lot of people out there who's gonna gonna feel really bad for reiner and how he's acting and and, and stuff like that and I, I feel bad for him but at the end of the day it's a choice you made even when you become old enough you were there for so long practicing training doing all of this stuff with these people came up with them killed a friend they killed marco to keep his mouth shut all that time they had so much many opportunities to come clean yes they might you know what i'm saying but at least they would have known the truth and go try to free the other aliens that are over there that are brainwashed i think they would have come here with a different purpose if that was the case but lo and behold here we are in this position so this is what you get the whole world want to smoke come get it you know what i'm saying it's all i'm i'm trying to say that speech was delivered brilliant it's just shout out to the voice actor for willie it was done very well in in, in my opinion um i'm pretty sure this speech is in the manga i don't know if anything was left out or anything was added um they did a great job with the puppet show, I guess, um, of kind of showing what really went down. King Fritz, he wanted, um, he wanted peace. And he said, listen, okay, I'm going to take some Eldians, right? And go over here by ourselves to kind of, you know, save the Eldian race, really, because we don't want to keep wiping out each other. But this is it. If y'all ever decide that y'all want to do do whatever y'all want we got the smoke we got these titans you know what i'm saying we got these titans so y'all need to stop playing i'm still the founder out here out here in this space you know what i'm saying so i really like what he did because you know you could look at it and say oh you know he sold out the aliens but he wanted peace he wanted peace. And sometimes that's what you got to do. You got to go behind. If you want peace sometimes, sometimes if it's between somebody you know and somebody you don't know, sometimes you got to go behind the person the, 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 the person that you know back to go get peace and to negotiate peace. Sometimes that has to happen. Because, you know, probably if he went to his people and be like, yo, I want peace, they probably would have killed him and was like, you don't deserve to be king. Let me eat you and get that fountain titan so we can get 
so we could keep going because the, the, the um the situation is that they were they started to kill each other because they they had wiped out so many races already because they had the titan power right so because of that they, they just kept killing and killing and they started to turn on each other right but because king fritz wanted peace he's like this is the only way i can do it so shout out to king fritz for for doing something and trying something because at the end of the day if you sit on your hands you know what i'm saying and be like oh i want this i want that i want this and that ain't nothing ever gonna happen you know what i'm saying a lot of people be like oh i want peace but i'm just i'm just not gonna do nothing just gonna wait till it happens <laughs> not gonna do anything to strive towards peace i'm not gonna talk to anybody i'm not gonna speak out about the situation i'm not gonna do any of that <laughs> you know i'm just gonna just sit here and just wait for peace to happen you know what i'm saying you don't want to be an instrument um you know that goes out there to uh, um to acquire this peace that you want you know what i mean so for me this this episode just goes to show you that attack on titan is a goaded anime and it's not even done yet and i feel like a lot of people is going to hold this in very high regard when it's finished because it's a well done it's a well told story well told story right so i believe it's just one of those animes that really really gets to the point where you're like oh my god is this really happening is this is this really happening you know what i'm saying is this really happening right now right now we gonna learn the truth about what really went down back in the day helos was basically created by king fritz and and the marleyans to you know what i'm saying as a you, you know it was a fake hero it was a fake hero um that's crazy man that's crazy i'm gonna have to go watch that speech again to see if i missed anything um you know what i mean <sighs> that's crazy that's crazy man that is nutty that was nutty okay i'm gonna go back a little bit here right you know you know he will he, he you know he keeps saying about the alien empire talking about it's it's still alive and well you know what i'm saying and they need to eradicate it because they're a threat to humanity and, and all of this other stuff so let's gather our forces together and go destroy paradise island so let's go literally wipe out a race of people that you guys started right the Marleans send them to retrieve the founding titan when you know what i'm saying because oh somebody has it that ain't that, that ain't supposed to have it you know what i'm saying when all marleyan they ain't no damn different they ain't no different than the alien empire but you know let, let let's pretend they are <laughs> you know what i'm saying let's pretend like they're different they're not different they do the same thing because they have the titan power they use the titan power right to demolish other countries you know what i'm saying it's not like they just sitting there and you know domestically they're using this and that's the reason why all these people come in with all this hatred towards them you know what i'm saying it's just that willie's kind of like that guy that in between that has always been keeping the peace you know what i'm saying he's he's social you know what i'm saying he's he's friendly people love him right so i mean this is crazy they're making it seem like this whole time they were just there sitting down people keep attacking them and stuff like that they're in for world domination you know but in any case i mean i don't know if that's going to be the last big twist um of you know off the series i'm pretty sure there's more to come <laughs> to be honest this is attack on titan we're talking about i don't think that's going to be the last big twist that we learn about in this series i mean oh my god that was awesome anyways guys i've spoken enough thank you guys so much for tuning in i love the episode it was great Aaron coming out of the ground awesome 
you know what I'm saying? They they led. Um, I think her name is Peck, Peek, Peck, whatever they call her, right? Her and um, what's the other's name? The Jaw Titan dude. Um, I don't remember his name. I will remember sooner or later, <laughs> right? He he just came on the scene. It's gonna take me a while to get used to these new names. So many new characters that we've learned about since the start of the season. Um, so it's gonna take me a while to get all of them together. Falco, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know he was used. You know we know he was being used to contact to contact the homies. We know that, right? So when it comes on to them being underground, it, you, you know. So they're kind of taking them out of the picture. It's like, how are they going to... They can't transform. They can't come to help. So the Jaw Titan and the Cart Titan is out of the picture. They were they led Zeke away somewhere else. I don't know. So we don't know what's happening with Zeke. Um, so he's out of the picture. So the only one that's really there. And it looks like... It looks like um, Reiner turned to protect Falco from the transformation. So that... Um, that's very nice of him um so okay so yeah i think i covered everything so i i think next episode will be the debut of the war titan the war i'm the warhammer titan i think next episode will be that debut of the warhammer titan i wonder what type of powers they have um you might have a hammer i don't know <laughs> but in any case guys this was an awesome awesome episode man thank you guys so much if you watch this entire thing don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to comment let me know what you thought the first time not talking to you manga people because you manga people always trying to spoil stuff for people <laughs> i'm just kidding um i know you guys are not you know it, it's always good to see stuff that you read in the manga being animated so you guys can let me know what you thought of it if it was executed very well um you know i'm pretty sure they left out some things you know i'm saying like i'm pretty sure because they usually do you know leave out some things that were done in the manga um to get to this part so quickly you know what i'm saying um so you guys can let me know if they did the whole speech or if they did you know some of it and just did the most important things that he said or if they did the whole speech um from the manga because i definitely want to know certain things about the manga it's pertaining to where we're at in the anime just do not spoil anything for me in the comment section really do appreciate it anyways guys thank you guys so much as i said before leave a comment and i will see you guys later next week for some more attack on titan